97% of climate scientists agree. The globe is warming, our climate is changing. It's due to fossil fuel burning and other human activities. 97%. Unfortunately, we are fighting this massive disinformation campaign to confuse the public. If you look at the, the satellite data, we actually have had no significant warming uh, since 1998. Actually, no warming. Yeah, because global warming is not. Years. If you actually believe that global warming is the biggest problem we face, you're the dumbest son of a bitch on the planet. Okay, so this guy's right. Talk a little bit about your background, <laughs> the studies that you've done. I was the classic science and math geek. Um, in high school, study physics in graduate school in a decade and a half ago. My co-authors and I started to look into climate change in the more distant past. We published a curve where there's this long-term cooling trend, and then all of a sudden, this abrupt warming. Okay, okay, no let's say our planet is getting a little warmer. How do you know it that like it's because of fossil fuels and not yeah, planet oscillations? Well, yeah, that's why like there are so there's like so much controversy because like it's largely correlation. Right? Specifically, I was vilified on the editorial pages of the Wall Street Journal, on Fox News, that I was a fraud. Other German scientists have called it statistical wow. rubbish. Uh, he's been called a statistical charlatan. I was being attacked by congressmen. They threw spaghetti up on the wall and wherever it stuck is what they put in the chart. I had death threats um, that were actionable enough that um, the FBI at one point had to come to my office to investigate an envelope that had been sent to me what? that had a white powder. Wait, because... I've had threats made against my family. These folks know they don't have to win legitimate scientific debate. They just need to divide the public. And all of that hatred and fear is, in fact, organized and funded by a few players. Fossil fuel interests. Folks like the Koch brothers finance a very large echo chamber of climate change denialism. The reality is a lot of climatologists believe that the science is not settled. Global warming is illusory. We're actually going through a period of global cooling. It's easier to believe in a benevolent God, the baby Jesus, than it is in some kind of theory about a global warming. Websites yep. and news Definitely. outlets and think tanks, they find people oh, with fairly impressive credentials okay. who are willing to sell those credentials to fossil fuel interests. Dr. Fred Singer, president of the Science and Environmental Policy Project, the weather balloons around the world show no warming of the atmosphere in the last 25 years. You have all of these organizations with lofty sounding names like Americans for Prosperity or the Heartland Institute. These are front groups the that are funded by corporate spot, injustice. Or like, Americans for is Prosperity there a way for them to check the is really whole thing? just a front group for the Koch brothers. That's an organization thing. founded by David and Charles Koch. And good morning to you, Tim. Welcome here. What are you going to get for your money? We hope the, there's a certain capacity change. that is nature is designed to have. And then because of like human actions, like burning fossil fuels, it's like going beyond the capacity. You know, it's more than what the planet can regenerate back in the cycle saved over the last hundred years so that the temperature would rise a half a percent or a milli percent. They've lobbied Congress. We keep hearing 2014 has been the warmest year on record. So here, Mr. President, catch this. Mm -hmm. James Inhofe is so probably well? the most <laughs> prominent congressional climate change denier. Global warming is the greatest hoax ever perpetrated on the American people. He's the chair of the Senate Environment Committee. There are some people who are so arrogant to think that they are so powerful they can change climate. Man can't change climate. It might not be surprising to learn that James Inhofe is one of the largest recipients of fossil fuel money in the U.S. Senate. Fossil fuel interests have bought our House of Representatives and Senate Environment Committee. We can't get a climate bill passed through Just, our Congress because it's controlled like, conserve by fossil fuel funded fossil fuel. climate change deniers who are blocking any bills that would attempt to deal with this problem. I think the clip was about how politicians aren't believing the scientists when they're saying that global warming is a thing. And also like businesses that want to keep their wealth as um, they need the fossil fuels in order to stay rich. Uh, it may become a problem, but it's not as imminent as everyone is around it. It's too hysterical.
I don't think global warming is a problem. I think that climate change is, because global warming is so focused on just one aspect, but climate change encompasses a lot more. You know the saying, every penny counts? Every small thing counts, so every small thing adds up to a big thing, so if we ignore it now, then it'll probably become like a huge problem later when we can't do anything about it. I believe global warming is a thing. <laughs> Yeah, I believe it's a thing too, and I think that um, the science, there's science to prove it, there's evidence that shows um, in the clip that he had like the chart and then there was like the spike in the temperature, and um, I think the politicians, um, they just aren't recognizing the evidence, maybe, I don't know. No, okay, yeah, it is the climate changing, but it's natural. Like, the, the solar system oscillates. Like, in a thousand years, it's gonna be, like, ice age. But it's, like, such a short time period that, that, that this centuries? is happening. Centuries? Well, I'm saying centuries, but I don't have, like, actual data, like, that I can look at right now to actually see the time I've never period. seen 10 degrees, I've only seen 0.8 of a degree. We might just be looking at different sources, then. Maybe the temperature changing you know, it being warmer and everything, maybe that doesn't have the biggest impact on us now or anything, but I think why people are trying to bring so much attention to it is because it's just how much we as humans have changed our planet just in the past like 100 years. And I think that's something that really needs to be taken account of. Not no. really. I'm not. I'm not surprised, but it's just because I feel like that's something they would do, but just disappointing. Yeah, I'm not really surprised either because I mean they've done that before. I knew a little about it, but I didn't know about the hockey stick effect thing that they're talking about. I did not know, and I'm. I'm. Uh, yeah, that was pretty surprising to me. But right now, like all liberals, if you find any evidence contrary to global warming, they're not gonna publish it. And the media is like 90% liberal, so.